Hi guys and welcome to Tech Based. In this video, we're going to talk about the error we cannot sign in into your account in Windows 10 or even Windows 11. In this video, I'm going to show you a few simple steps that you need to do in order to fix this problem. So first of all, what you should know, this error most of the times comes up when the user configuration for that account for that user account is damaged. So uh, there is no proper way of fixing that existing user because it is very difficult to repair that configuration. The best thing that you can do is to create a new local administrator account and then copy or transfer the files to that new user and perform a system repair. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can do that. So most of the times when you receive this error, you can access Windows, you can access the operating system, but you cannot find most of the files and programs. You can find them, of course, by looking into File Explorer and stuff, but you don't see your programs, your settings and stuff like that because the user configuration is damaged. So first of all, what we need to do is to go and click on the start button and then click on settings, then go down a bit and click on accounts, then go to family and other users, and then click on add someone else to this PC. You can either log this user using a Microsoft email or you can click on I don't have this person sign in information and now you will create a local account. And now we're going to click on add a user without a Microsoft account. We're going to name it. We can enter a password if we want. And of course, we need to enter the security questions. After you created the account, as you can see here, ME test local account, click on change account type and on the account type, change it from standard user to administrator and then click on OK. All you have to do now is to log into that user account. And now I'm just going to right click on the start menu, shut down or sign out and I'm going to sign out in order to log in to that user account. So I'm going to click here, ME test and then sign in. As you can see, we're going to be greeted by this screen that we have on every new user account that we created on our operating system. So the process should take a few minutes because it basically now sets all the things up for you to use that new user account. So here I'm just going to select the second option, accept, then I'm going to select no on every single thing here. I usually do this when installing Windows 10 or Windows 11 also. And now we are into the new user account. As you can see, the new user account is created and has all the default settings from Windows 10 or, or the operating system you're using. And now what you have to do is to open up PowerShell, click on the start button and search in here PowerShell, right click on PowerShell and then click on Run as Administrator and then click on yes. In PowerShell, you're going to have to paste in and run one by one four different commands that you will find in the description down below. So the first one is this one, sfc space slash scan now, press enter. Basically, this will check the operating system for corrupted files or for missing files and will and we'll try to repair them or replace them if they're missing. So wait for this process to be finished. It could take up to 30 minutes depending on various different factors and wait for the command to be finished. And after that, run the second command, the third one and the fourth one as well. The second command is this one, dism slash online slash cleanup image slash scan health. Basically, this will check up the health of your system image. We'll scan it, of course, for problems and corrupted files as well. And again, wait for the process to be finished. The third command is this one, dism slash online slash cleanup image slash check health. And then the last command is this one, dism slash online slash cleanup image slash restore health. So basically this command will try to restore the health of your system image. And then after the process is finished and you restart your system, you should be good to go. So after the restart, you can now copy your files to the new user. You can install your apps again. And if you want, you can delete the old user that has its configuration corrupted. I've encountered this error myself on Windows 7 and Windows 10 as well. So this is an error that mostly comes up after a failed update or certain programs that you installed. So basically, this is the only thing that I've tried and worked for me in the past. And I'm hoping that you will be able to fix this issue yourself after watching this video. If this video is useful, don't forget to leave a like down below and also subscribe to the tech base channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Emmanuel from tech based until next time. Have a nice day.